Well, Joe Cardona, um, play football at Navy, and I'm here with the kicking system. Teach you guys the basics of long snapping. All right. Um, to start out with, first thing you want to teach is hand placement. Throwing hand, dominant hand, just like you're grabbing a ball right there. All right. Um, off hand, it's your guide hand. You're gonna to want to place it anywhere up the ball, middle finger in the seam, uh, thumb right about there. It should make a little triangle. All right. From there, you can teach basic drills just to teach them how to release the ball from here. The right hand should still be dominant when they throw the ball. The left hand should only guide it. It should only be an inch, it should only be a tool to help make a spiral. Um, really, when you're when you're doing this drill, when you're just overhand toss drill. You just want to stress uh, releasing the ball at the fingertips and finishing with the thumbs pointing down. Um, it should look like this. That should be the that should be the uh, release position. Um, teaching index fingers pointing towards your target, thumbs pointing down, balls releasing off the fingertips. And that's really going to teach them how to make a spiral. All right, what we're going to work on now is uh, foot position. Um, Feet should be a little wider than the shoulder width. Um, you know, a good, comfortable, athletic stance. Uh, you're gonna you know, teach them just basics. You know, getting into it. It should be more like O lineman. Uh, not a lot of weight on the hands. You know, you're gonna have to throw a ball, so you don't want a lot of weight on the hands. Um, you're gonna want to teach them that. Uh, you know, you're gonna get down. You're gonna grab the ball just like you did in the overhand toss drill. And uh, to get them started, just have them. Just have them sit here and follow through. You know, finishing with that overhand toss, hand, hand placement. This is just going to teach them basic, basic fundamentals of, you know, snapping. Um, you don't even have to have them snap a ball at first. You just have them here and snap it, snap, go snaps just like that. And that's just going to teach them the basics of uh, the technique um, and how they're supposed to do it when it comes time to, you know, actually snap a football. Uh, you can slow it down which is a good tool for you know, just teaching how to do it right. Um, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to have either a five count or a three count for their snaps. So you'd be here. So from the starting position, you'd just be one, two, three, four, five. Ending with your eyes through, hands through, and hamstrings locked out. Um, hamstrings are going to be locked out for speed. Um, eyes through and hands through. You know, really stressing that because that's where all the consistency comes from. And that's what you need in a snapper. I mean, you don't need tremendous speed at first. All you really need is that consistency, you know, on the follow through. And that's what's gonna, you know, it's that slowed down snap. This time with the ball, we're gonna follow all the way through. We're gonna teach them how to release the ball off the fingertips, but slow down. Um, right now we're focusing on form, um, not speed. Basically, the release is gonna be in the wrist. So here's what, it's gonna, here's what it's gonna look like. Really exaggerating that follow through, working on that consistency, working on the release off the fingertips. And this is what it should look like all put together.